My sources are Adam, that the government could and would use heart to ignite the methane in these bayous. This is a real live powder keg, folks. These are Chinese-made rigs. If there's any catastrophic methane explosions in the near future, you can't tell me that's merely an accident. Hi, my name is Trip Weston. Recently, I produced the television nature series, Man. Over the course of filming, our cameras witnessed unprecedented displays of evolution, strange mutations never before observed by the human eye. When I spoke to a prominent marine biologist, she claimed it was due to Port Clovis's extreme levels of radioactivity and industrial effluent. But I couldn't shake the feeling that she was merely trying to play. What did she mean? And why wasn't she telling me? Then, as if the stars had all aligned, the former Q-level security specialist sat down next to me. What he told me would haunt me for the better part of a year, and lead me back to Port Clovis on a dangerous journey through dark secrets, government cover-ups, and a clandestine cabal of extraterrestrial elites single-mindedly determined to enforce their will on humankind. Come with me on a quest for the truth. Truth Quest. <laughs> Judging by the bull's behavior, she smells a new creature. If it threatens her apex status, a heated confrontation is inevitable. Predator must act quickly, lest she lose the scent of her brain. 
the shark works the odor trail with a singular focus. Perhaps she's caught scent of Jormungandr, the world encircling sea serpent of Norse legend. What admirable hustle! The creature has disappeared. Probably whisked away by a government boat. Lest we capture the beast on video. By demon powers, the Illuminati prove a dastardly. Questers, whatever it is, the shark caught sent. The secretive Black Ops unit, conspicuously called NWO, is captured. What might be their nefarious plans? There you see it. The Ishtar Gate and Processional Way are being constructed to welcome all variety of otherworldly entities to seduce and deceive mankind. Regarding these spoons, I'm proposing complicity on the part of Mayor Wayne Hibbert. You see, Hibbert owns 50 shares in Schlumber, owned by Hexaco, who are partners with Saxwell Gold in Varco, the manufacturer of oil dispersant emulsifiers. Therefore, Hibbert made money on the deal. So many sheeple going about their daily lives, ignorant that their minds are held captive by forces they don't know or understand. The markings on this satellite suggest that it belongs to Site a top secret military compound, and perhaps the home base of these NWO troops.
Love my fish finder. Unfortunately, I suspect there's more where that came from.
out of here. Love books, but don't love to read. Autolist.com has over 150,000 titles you can start listening to today. Like Gordon A. Boyd's Electric Toothbrush, The Little Spy in Your Medicine. of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimate. This is the Plover Island Complex, commonly referred to as Site P. Whatever bizarre and dark depravity lurks within its bowels, we're about to find out. ship is not piloted by men, but bioelectric extraterrestrial military robots.
again appear the great galleons of the global conspiratorial elite. Shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating. driving force for the bull shark. NASA's fraudulent Apollo 11 moon landing was necessary. Otherwise, the world would have seen the domes and spires of the insectoid's lunar base, Vraxon. You can tell that this is old World War II technology, due to all the flicker. Sharks' propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. Big fish seek shelter as the NWO shock troops assemble. If 
there's no such thing as targeted weather warfare, then why am I occasionally inconvenienced by rain, snow, and excessive cold or heat?